So, first we was talking about body count. Because, you know, that was like a big deal because oh, of Brittany, Brittany Renner. Renner and all that shit. And her, and her saying yeah. 35. And it was crazy because if her number was really 35, the motherfuckers was really like, some people saying, oh, you mean 135. Like everybody I definitely think her number is higher than 35, but 35 isn't a bad number. Also, I'm like, Not I for don't, her age. I don't, I don't know what a high number like, is, but I Depending I just on choose. when she started fucking like... You do this like two. I just choose not to ask. I just feel like it ain't my business. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know as mean? long Who as you clean fuck? and like we good. Like, right. what the fuck it matter? So my question is: as long as you ain't fuck nobody like close to me, that it's like if I'm trying to wife you and it, it's gonna look crazy on me. Yeah, but but my question is: is there anything like from your significant other from their past <laughs> that will stop you from moving forward with them, whether that be? The yeah, she time breathed they another like a, nigga's oxygen before she met oh me. Oh, my God. Like, the <laughs> length of time, like, they were in a relationship while their relationship ended, the amount of sex partners that they've had prior to you. Is there anything from their past that will stop you from moving forward with them? Um, First of all, your your tests have to come back clean. So as long as that... So let's just say no STDs. No but, STDs. We're cool. But she got a high body count. Is that going to stop you from moving forward with her? As long as none of my inner circle are in that body count... Mm-hmm. And I really mean like my inner circle, like my, you know, yeah, my little circle of friends. So yeah, as long as you're not in none of those bodies are in my inner inner circle, then no, we can we can move serious forward seriously. Yeah. yeah, if some of those bodies are in my inner circle, then we can move forward and still have fun. Cause yeah, ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. Ain't, ain't the rest of my circle about to hit it. And I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reason why you hit. Yeah, it. It's a reason. It's a reason why everybody else hit it and you're still around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> But no, on a serious note, like, yeah, no, as long as nobody in my inner circle, we can move forward seriously. I don't ask body counts. I don't want to know. What if they've been in 30 serious I didn't know that niggas, like, that if was If you're in 30 serious relationships, I really ask. That's not, my issue is not going to be about your body count. My issue is going to be with your. That's what I'm saying. Would that be like a deal breaker with you moving forward with them if they've had a crazy amount of serious relationships? Yeah, because you make bad decisions. Them shits won't that serious as yeah. you thought they were. Like if you had a crazy amount of yeah. them. Or what if the length of relationships? Like if she's the last person she was with, she was with them for six months, and that was her longest relationship. Would that matter? That's her longest. Yes. Would you go forward with her because her last, her previous most serious relationship was only six months? It depends on. I don't know. It's, it's it depends vari- on why. I was gonna yeah. say it's variables to that shit. But now, why? if if she wasn't the problem in any of her relationships. I'm not fucking with it because she's lying. You, she's yeah, lying. Yeah, that's what I'm she's saying. Lying. There's no accountability. She's lying. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so it really just depends. Now, 